Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Lick Green! I am the Max of Your Trades in the last part! Well, I defeated Brock, I uh, walked past a great deal of trainers and defeated them all in honorable combat! I went into a Pokemon Center and I, for a mere $500, I purchased this Derpopotamus right here! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, this colossal Derpaderp is a Magikarp! A Pokemon that only knows the move Splash. It just flails around uselessly and does absolutely nothing of value for anybody in any conceivable way. Uh, and it's apparently bashful and also a woman. That's perfectly cool with that. One might say I was swindled. I say this is a unique opportunity. For you see, all Pokemon are created equal. And in this spirit, I will train this pathetically stupid creature. And I will raise it as my own, and it will be my friend. And it's—I not... mean, come on! I mean, just because something's got a derpy face doesn't make doesn't mean it's stupid. It could be a genius underneath that crazy scales and stuff. It could be a real cool, a real cool, a real cool cat. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. So with that, I guess we've acquired a third member of our team. And what on earth even is this? Mount Moon Tunnel Entrance. Well, okie dokie dokie. Let's get ourselves into Mount Moon. And it's a big old honking cave. And I see an item right over here, so I might as well just you know, go ahead and take advantage of that. And it contains bullet seed. Actually, that's a pretty awesome move. Oh, and a random encounter. Who are we encountering? We are finding a Zubat! Hell yeah, it's a Zubat! Crest my, it is a Zubat! Alright, there has never been a Pokemon more scrutinized and insulted for no reason whatsoever than the Zubat. Zubat is an awesome poison and flying type Pokemon. It resembles a bat, obviously. It ain't got no eyes, but it don't care. It's got sonar bouncing all over the walls and stuff. It is one cool customer in, it, in its evolutions and move pool are awesome as all get out. But every, you know why everyone hates the Zubat? Here's the reason why everybody hates Zubat. We see him too often. I mean, come on, that's just stupid. Ooh, poison powder, ooh, I can use that. I mean, come on. You see something a lot, that means it's automatically bad. And eh, nuts to your poo. I don't give no dangs. Zubat is awesome, and you should respect him more. Unfortunately, I've made the very painful decision to not capture a, uh, a Zubat for this particular playthrough. But if I ever do get around to another Pokemon game, I can definitely say with certainty that he is definitely up on my list. Do I want to make room for some sleep powder? No, I do not. I much prefer poison powder to sleep powder. Poison is permanent. Sleep eventually wears off. Not that big of a thing. I don't, don't care for that. Accidentally ambushed by uh, no good nicks. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? I'm only partially suspicious. Yeah, be thankful I edited that entire encounter out. Now get out of the Kakuna! It took forever to take it down. Seriously. Harden. Awful. Terrible. Do not care for it. Ooh, another item. And some sort of spring leak. Ooh, a paralysis heal! That'll heal paralysis. Very handy, very handy. My microphone is not adjusted properly. Okay, there we go. That should be better. Encounters! Is something unique? No, but it's still awesome! Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and tell you that you're not gonna see Zubat a lot. <sighs> but just because he's always there trying to be amazing for you, I mean doesn't mean you should dislike him. I mean, come on. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. You're in a, a giant if you can What is with all the clones and tiny skirts? All right, fine. Clefairy. You got a Clefairy? Fine. Let's fight this Clefairy. 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 Yeah, it's got flair. It's got style and flair. Clefairy. It's a normal type. It's based off a of fairy. It can totally sing and take you to slumberland. That's totally what it'll do, because it is crazy what it, this thing, this, this thing is crazy. It knows next to absolutely no damage dealing moves, however. So it's just kind of there. I mean, like I said, all Pokemon are valid options, and you can totally make a Clefairy work. Do not try, don't, don't, don't think you can't. You totally can, trust me. I've seen some really awesome Clefairies. It just, it would take some serious time, dedication, and hard work in order to make it happen. And, uh, I've already got Magikarp on my team, so don't expect a Clefairy on mine. That's all I'm saying. Because, honestly, I would have considered it. It, it honestly was a toss-up between Magikarp and Clefairy for my catch in this general vicinity. 
By the way, I'm making this up completely as I go along. I have no idea what my my full team is going to end up being at all. Oh, I went the wrong way. Pokemon Center. And okay, we are back. But yeah, totally. I genuinely have no clue what my entire team is going to eventually end up being. I am assuming awesome. And that's about it. <laughs> I mean, basically, I see a Pokemon. And that Pokemon looks pretty awesome. Awesome, cool. I think he should make a, a wonderful addition to our team, and I'll, and I'll bring them along. That's basically how I'm going to go about it. And who is this gentleman? We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. You strike fear with your strength, eh? Oh, the many, many things I can bring up. Well, how about the first thing is, his Pokemon, not exactly intimidating. That's it first and foremost, but then again, you're just a standard run-of-the-mill grunt. I suppose I really shouldn't be expecting huge things from you. Then again, I, you know, I guess the underlings are never a great representation for your company. I mean, like, I don't know, you don't send the paper, the you know, the copy guy, or the coffee guy, the copy coffee guy. You don't send him out, you know, you know, to make, you know, business deals and the like. That's just not what you, that's just not what you do. So maybe they're just going off on the wrong foot. I don't know. I'm just saying maybe they should stock their standard goons with something a little better than the Rattatas. Once again, Rattata, wonderful Pokemon, give it the time of day it deserves. But they use, you know, NPCs, I mean, video game characters. They never use things to their full potential. They just kind of, they go on the little AI paths, just do their own thing like it ain't. Like, it isn't even a thing. Anyway, you might wonder why I just threw out Tempest there for a little while and then brought her immediately back. If a Pokemon is in the battle whatsoever, it uh, gains experience points. And since Tempest can't actually attack things on its own, well, that's pretty much the only thing I can do. I'm just going to have to keep tossing her out and then bringing her back, and eventually she'll just keep gaining experience. Anybody who knows Magikarp, and you really should, I... I I mean, yeah, I can't run away from a Puck Trainer battle, that's not what I want. I'm just saying, if you don't know Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Magikarp, why am I so bad at life? Okay, if you don't know Magikarp, then this is going to seem like a really stupid idea to you. But I find it very unlikely that you don't know what the deal with Magikarp is, and you are totally going to know why I caught, I got one and why I'm using one on my team, even though in the past video I said all it learns is Splash, even though that's not the case. It was a lie, it was a fabrication. It was a big old misdirection. I was I was feigning ignorance, as as people tend to do. Yeah, I'm getting a little overly dramatic, aren't I? Sorry, I tend to do that sometimes. All right, and this team has finally gone down. I'm actually doing pretty decently when it comes to thinking of stuff to talk about. And Tempius goes to level six, cause she's a badass little fish. I blew it. Yes, yes you did. Now get out of my face, Mr. How What is that? Oh, my sweet, merciful Habajama Bull Bulb is evolving. Oh my god, he looks the same, but different! Congratulations! Your Bull Bulb evolved into Ivysaur. Although he'll still be named Bull Bulb. Again. Really thinking about that name. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to flat out say... I don't think I like Bulbasaur as its name either. I know. Terrible, terrible, terrible. How about you guys put uh, suggestions for what my Bulbasaur should be called in the comments? And I'm sure I'll have read all of them by the time I get to the name writer anyway. And bada bing bada boom. What is this? A star piece. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure that can only be sold at marts for high amounts of money. I'm pretty sure that's about all it ever actually uh, does. Maybe it does something else. I don't know. I'll look at it off screen. Ah, oh, Snipple Snabble, it's a Paris. Ah, oh, Snapple, Snipple, Snipple Snabble. It is a grass bug type Pokemon. And look at them little mushrooms growing on its head. That is a sign of awesome nasty. That is, that is what those mean. If you have mushrooms growing out of your head, you're a pretty cool fellow. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to like Paris because it has like a bajibble dibble It's really stinking weak to fire type moves. But it's part grass type anyway. Who? Why would you put a grass type against a fire type? That's stupid. So it's an incredibly dumb reason to not like the thing. So, whatever. I'd catch one, but I don't know. I ain't just. I just ain't feeling it for this playthrough. Besides, I've got Ivysaur here. So I mean, my grass quota is pretty much fold up. 
So, you know, maybe if I had a different starter, I would have heavily considered it, but I don't. So I guess this is just what we're going to go with. Let's go. Holy. <clears throat> All right. Apparently that was the wrong hole to go down. Another encounter. Zubats out the wazoo. All right. This looks like a much better hole to climb down. Oh, another encounter. All right, and go down that hole, why don't we? To Mount Moon, do, 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 do. By the way, running increases the chances of a random encounter, so if you don't want a random encounter, kinda, you know, put that into consideration. Random encounter! I mean, they'll happen no matter what. They'll just happen less frequently if you're walking. Just the thought. Anyway, TM46, that's Thief, and this is another dead end? Really? Do I really not know my way around Mount Moon and another encounter? Mount Moon is a maze with an enigma within a coloring book. Apparently, I do not know what the diz, the biz is, but I do know there is a child with a yellow hat here. Did you come to explore the cave too? No, I did not. I came through here because it's the only way to get to the next town, which is freakishly inconvenient for the economy. All right, Josh. Oh, you've got your matata. Oh, no, dear. It's it's too bad. It's if only I had a Pokemon with fighting type moves of which to be super effective against your matata. Oh, wait, I totally do. That sucks for you, I mean. I mean, it's really good for me. Anything, what else you got? Oh, you've got a second Rattata. That's just bad form. I don't know why so many NPCs decide. I mean, look, I've got my own favorite Pokemon, too. I mean, if Rattata is your cup of tea and you want a Rattata, I mean, you go ahead and catch one. But if you're trying to be a Pokemon trainer and actually have success in battle, catching a bunch of the exact same thing isn't exactly the smart thing to do. Just saying. I mean, okay, here, here we go, a Zubat. See, shake things up. You've got a normal type, and you've got a flying poison type. That's variety. That's a, that's a good that's a good strategy. Come on. You gotta shake things up. Try not to have too many Pokemon of the exact same type. Otherwise, you're just gonna get steamrolled by somebody who's really good at beating that type of Pokemon. I mean, come on. Losing stinks. It's so uncool. Yeah, well, get used to it. Life's full of it. Life is full of failures and sadness, and there's literally nothing you can do about it. Except, I guess, you know, distract yourself with with hobbies and, I don't know, food. Stuff like that, I guess. But when you get right down to it, it's all just one big ol' stinking illusion. Oh, hey, a moonstone! Certain Pokemon can only evolve if they're touched with a moonstone. That's actually very useful. It's all just a big ol' illusion that we teach ourselves so that we don't feel like human life is worthless. Even though, if you think about it, scientifically it kind of is. Woo! And it, that is the depressing section of the Pokemon Let's Play. Let's completely avoid that in all future incarnations, now shall we? Okay, bring it on. Bring it on, stupid. Let's fight. Little kid shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Creeper. Oh, Nami leveled up, and she's trying to learn Fury Swipes. It's like Scratch, but multiple times. So, yeah, totally. Well, actually... Let me see. No. Oh, okay, uh, I'll give her a Scratch. I was thinking about getting rid of Leer, but... Well, logistically, that didn't really make any sense. Because <laughs> then I would have two moves that essentially do the exact same thing. And why would you even do that? And a Sand True. Okay, whatever. Cutting the rest out. Later! And that's the end of Team Rocket Grunt. I'm steamed! Well, you heard it, hurt. You heard it here first, folks. This man is living broccoli. That's a very unfortunate lifestyle. But hey, I don't judge. I don't judge. Uh, question! What's the status of- yeah, okay, he's poisoned. That's worth- poison paralyzed, whatever! I've been using Donnie for so long, I completely forgot how Bulbor was doing. Okay, so many encounters, so little time. It's mostly just because we're in a cave. As soon as we get out, it won't happen that often. Oh, just thank you, lucky stars. I'm cutting it out. I probably spent a collective two and a half minutes doing nothing but escaping from unnecessary battles. Lame! Okay, this is a mandatory one. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a pearl as a heal. I'll use that on my bow orb. And even though that was a spray bottle, I, I I guess he ate it. Not really sure how that works. <laughs> but whatever. I totally need him for what I needs to do, and what I needs to do is defeat another grunt. So bring it on, foul creature. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. 
So now you're gonna make Jurassic Park. See, when you're an evil organization, uh, modeling your entire idea off the concept of, you know, uh, let, let's, let's, let's do this thing on, after this movie we saw. I totally mi fell asleep halfway through this Jurassic Park movie, but it seemed like a pretty good setup. So, I say we go for it, and not even look back. So, let's go with the revive the fossils plan, and hopefully that'll all pan out. We'll all, we'll all meet next week for, you know, to, to discuss the progress on that, I guess. Even though in the Pokemon universe, apparently reviving things from fossils is all both totally possible, and also completely unconsequential, which is very odd. But hey, whatever. Different universes, different laws. So, I mean, the Pokemon universe can do whatever they, they can go inside people's dreams in the Pokemon universe. If you're playing the latest games, which you should, because they're all good. I mean, if you're watching me play this, you clearly like Pokemon, so you should probably play them. I mean, come on. Who just watches these things? That is a silly, silly idea. So close, but not enough to level up. Erg, now I'm mad. Well, then you should go talk to Steven Broccoli, man, and go form some sort of gangster click. And here we got a nerd. What's your deal? Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Oh, so now you want to fight to the death. Fine, good sir. You are one ner super nerd. And Miguel, I guess? I don't know. Ah, oh, Snapple. That guy's got a grimer. It's a living pile of sludge. That is very, very interesting. I choose to use Leech Seed because Volvorb's kind of running low on the HPs, if you know what I mean, is. And I think you do. Although, does Leech Seed take with the with effects? No, it's totally good. Yay, typed effects mean nothing in the long run, at least in the context of this particular encounter. Although Grass Attacks don't do good on Poison. Probably should have remembered that. I'm not very bright. And Absorb. It's Power. Give myself a power boost, y'all. Tackle attack. How you're able to tackle a pile of sludge into submission, I do not know. I am no Pokemon biologist. Uh, I guess you'd have to go ask Professor Oak about that. Don't really know. I'm not sure which Pokemon professor would be a master of the Pokemon biology. Yeah, I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> I was really trying to think about it for a second. I was like, is one of them a specialist in the biology of Pokemon? I think the closest is Oak, actually. Uh, whatever. Level up for the Bulborb. Level 17. Bada bing, bada boom. Super Nimic is going to sound out of the coughing. Oh, you can sound out of coughing. Fine. Release the coughing. Which is a giant living ball of noxious gas. So... That's also something that totally exists in this universe. It's a Pokemon created solely by pollution. So I guess Captain Planet would probably have a few problems with it, but, you know. Coughing. Has a ridiculously high defense stat, so, I don't know. If that's something you're into, there you go. Coughing. Totally an option. I mean, not right now. You can't find him in this cave. In fact, I don't really know where you can find him. But I'm sure you can find him somewhere. Maybe not even a leaf green. Maybe he's an explosive. I really don't have the slightest idea, okay? I don't have all of this memorized. I am not Chuck Conroy. I do not have all the specs and graphs and magical editing skills that this guy somehow magically acquired just by being crazy all the time. I don't know. I am not him. I can only be me. And by me, I be me me. Me, 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 me. La, la. Anyway, he's going to send out a Voltorb, which is a Pokemon experiment gone terribly wrong. Or maybe fantastically wrong. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. Voltorb's a pretty cool, pretty cool cat. Ridiculously high speed stat, but speed stat really means almost nothing in the long run. So, I don't know. I guess the Pokemon's only real, I guess, advantage is the fact that it moves very quickly. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty stupid that's, that's, that's a stupid way to look at it, I guess. I don't know. Level it up! Level 18 for the Blue Blurb! Awesome possum! Play the Super Nerd Miguel! Okay, I'll share! Yes, yes you will share! I wasn't even after your dang fossils! We'll each take a fossil, no being greedy! You were just being greedy a few seconds ago! I don't know, okay. The Helix Fossil or the Dome Fossil? I don't remember which 
fossil gives you which Pokemon, so let's just go with, uh... Let's go with Dome. <sighs> Probably not even going to use the fossil Pokemon in fighting anyway, so I guess it's kind of pointless to really think about it all that hard. Yes, the fossil is yours. I can never acquire it by any means whatsoever. Do not care in the slightest. Encounter. So many parasitesses. Surprisingly large amount. From what I remember, they're not all that common, actually. Anyway, antidote. Get rid of poison. Very good. And I think we should just finally be emerging out of the hellhole that is Mount Moon. We are free. Oh, thank the maker. We are finally free. And we've got two kung fu dudes here. One of them... They'll both teach your Pokemon a specific move, actually. They'll teach you Mega Punch and Mega Kick. I don't know which one does which, um, but I think I'll do that, actually. Eeny, miny, mine, and Bison. A kick of brutal ferocity, poked with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to your Pokemon. Yeah, sure, why not? This move can be learned only once. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. All right, which Pokemon wants to learn it? Uh, well, only one is an option. I would be laughing my little ass off if Tempest could have learned this, but I can't. So Nani will learn Mega Kick. Mega Punch and Mega Kick are fundamentally the exact same move in every conceivable way, so you're really not losing anything here. Only get five, but a dang is it powerful! Uh, that's a very good move. We'll get rid of Leer for that awesome little action-packed blast of power. For at Leer, learned Mega Kick. Nami is now at least 20% more awesome. Now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. You should run before you're seen by this deluded nitwit who trains only in simple punchings over there. Yes, he'll probably sit each Mega Punch, but I picked you before him, so I guess Nami's just gonna be stuck with being an expert kick artist. Uh, break dancing. Roar. If you teach that to a Pokemon, it will totally roar and scare the Pokemon away. If it's a wild Pokemon, the battle will end. If it's, you're in a trainer battle, it will go back into its Pokeball and a random one will be called out. Kind of a risky gambit, all things considered. So I would really don't advise using it all that often unless you've got a very specific strategy ahead of yourself. And hey-ho, wouldn't you know, we're in Cerulean City. Ain't that just awesome.